in the last video we have seen the derivation of hydrostatic forces on the plane surface and we come to the conclusion that the forces hydrostatic force is given by the product of density multiplied by g multiplied by h bar the distance of centroid from free surface level multiplied by total area a and the center of pressure is given by h bar plus ix moment of inertia of the x axis sin square theta where theta is the angle made by the edge view with the free surface level divided by area multiplied by h bar we can classify the force the numericals that are coming on the hydrostatic forces into three categories in the first category we will find the forces the plane surface is in contact with the one fluid only so here we have a plane surface that is shown as edge view this is free surface this is a liquid here having density equals to rho Th this represents the centroid of gravity and the top surface is at a depth of h uh, let's say the centroid at a distance of h bar this we have shown in the last video so look at the position of centroid from the plane figure and measure the distance this from the free surface level that equal to h bar this type of numerical are very straightforward to calculate angle theta can be changed so the hydrostatic force is simply given by the product of density multiplied by uh, g multiplied by h bar multiplied by area so only thing is to calculate the value of h bar so that is the only skill required for to find out the hydrostatic force on the plane surface and now if the plane surface is contact with the more than one fluid but whatever the is contact with the one fluid but the fluid is a pressurized fluid that is the external agency is acting on this one and that will pressurize the fluid so here we have taken this case this is a closed vessel and here the air is present and the pressure of air is 2 bar so this one is water having density equal to 1000 kg per meter cube and the height of this column equal to 3 meter this tank is not open tank and therefore the pressure at this point is not equal to atmospheric rather than this pressure equals to 2 bar which is exerted on the water so this is compressed water of height equal to 3 meter so in this type of problem we have to first convert the external pressure due to air in terms of water column so we can convert this pressure so in this case convert the air pressure of 2 bar into equivalent column of water so that there is only one fluid in the tank that can be done using the equation pressure equals to pressure due to air is equal to pressure due to water the pressure due to air is simply 2 into 10 to the power 5 pascal density of water is 1000 expression due to gravity is 9.81 and equivalent column of water which will going to replace the air is come out to be 20.38 meters of water so if we replace this column of air with 20.38 meters of water then there is a this tank will become the open tank and this fluid will have a height of 3 plus 20.38 that is 23.38 meters this can be shown in the separate figure so here we have the same column that is the same uh, plane AB which is a vertical plane this is the center of gravity at distance of 1.5 meter from A and this original column equal to 3 meter above this we will going to mark the column of 20.38 meters to represent the imaginary water level so if I replace this column the additional column which is equal to the air column then the column of that height will be equals to 20.38 and then this level will become open to the atmosphere and this level is called as an imaginary water level now here the H equivalent is to 20.38 this is a column of water above the top of gate A and the from A the centroid is 1.5 meters so distance of centroid from the free surface level will be h equivalent plus 1.5 that equals to 21.88 meters once we know this value we can calculate the force exerted on this one so one thing is to be important is that the centroid is always measured from the free surface so force equals to rho into g into h bar into area we are not given here any width so we assume width equal to 1 meter so density is 1000 g is 9.81 h bar we are just calculate 28.38 height of this uh, gate is uh, 3 meter and the width perpendicular to this plane is equals to 1 so after calculation the hydrostatic force come out to be 629 kilonewton approximately in the third situation the plane in contact with more than one liquids like uh, here we have a plane AB 
and this player AB is in contact with the oil as well as uh, water so here I have taken 1 meter column of oil and 2 meter column of water since oil is lighter than water so it will float about this one so this type of problem here AC part of the AB is in contact with the oil and BC part of uh, in contact with the water as far as oil is concerned oil will exert a pressure AC and indirect pressure on BC whereas water there is no contact with AC so it will exert a pressure on BC only so as far as oil is concerned we have to calculate the force on AC and the effect of oil on the BC part whereas water will only if, uh, affect the force on BC part so first of all we will calculate for AC and plane AC experience the hydrotic force due to oil only and for this one column is equals to 1 meter so the centroid will be equals to half of this will be equals to 0.5 and so force of force on hydrotic force on AC equal to product of density G H A C into area of AC uh, density is equals to 800 G 9.81 SCP uh, S bar is equals to 0.5 and area height equals to 1 and we assume width equal to 1 whenever width is not given we assume 1 and the force come out to be 3.92 kN but when we are calculating for BC part we have to convert first oil pressure into the water column so part BC experience hydrotic force due to both oil and water hence convert the oil head into water head to convert the oil head into water head we will equate the equation pressure of oil equals to pressure of water pressure of oil is given by the density multiplied by G multiplied by the column of height that equals to 1 meter and the density of water is 1000 G same H equivalent that is which is the equivalent head of oil in terms of water if you calculate this we will get H equivalent equal to 0.8 meter now we will remove this oil and we will fill this column with 0.8 meter so that entire fluid in the tank will be the water only to calculate the force on BC part so we have here BC part which is a 2 meter height and it contains water over this I will show the column of 0.8 meter so that will become the H equivalent now what is the idea here is that the tank is entirely filled with water so there is a simple calculation for SCP from this pre surface level this is called as imaginary water surface level from this water surface level we will calculate the value of H bar from this point to this point it's a half that equal to 2 by 2 plus this point 0.8 so the depth of center of pressure HBC is 2 by 2 plus point 0.8 equals to 1.8 meter and then we can calculate the force exerted on this one using the equation FBC equals to density of water multiplied by G multiplied by the depth of center of pressure of part BC multiplied by area of BC density is 1000 G 9.81 HBC 1.8 and the area the height will be equals to 2 and width equals to 1 and we get this value approximately equals to 35.31 kN so total hydrostatic force will be the sum of these two now we quickly make a review of this whenever we have a plane surface in contact we simply locate the surface measure the height h bar and the total hydrostatic, total hydrostatic force will be equals to rho g into h bar into area whenever we have the column of air there uh, or the column of gas there which is pressurized so we convert the air column into the water column and then we'll replace the air column by the imaginary water surface and then we'll measure the free surface from this free surface what is the value of your h bar that will be equals to h equivalent plus height of this divided by 2 and in the third situation when the plane in contact with one or more liquids we have to first calculate what is the pressure due to oil only then that we'll convert this oil into water column and then we calculate the second part of bc